Hi there, it's Wendy Hernandez with Command the Courtroom. In this week's video, I'm going to talk with you about something that's closely related to one of the videos I've done in the last couple weeks about providing notice. If you haven't watched that video already, go back and take a look at it. Um, just to briefly summarize in the video, I tell you that you have to put the party, other party on notice of all the claims that you're making in your case. So related to that, I want to talk about the pretrial statement. So your pretrial statement is a statement to the judge where you tell the judge what it is that you're asking for at trial. And I imagine that in different states and, and countries, um, different judges have different rules about what's required in your pretrial statement. In Arizona, um, the judges require us and the rules require us to include information about the uncontested issues. That means issues that parties don't necessarily agree on. In fact, on issue, those are issues that the parties might actually agree upon. And um, we have to include information about contested issues. Those are the issues in dispute. And we have to include information about witnesses, exhibits, attempts at settlement. So there's a whole laundry list of the things that we have to include. It's not uncommon for people who are representing themselves not to include an issue that is in dispute in the pretrial statement. And I will tell you, at least in Arizona, if you fail to include a contested issue in your pretrial statement, then you waive that issue at trial. You cannot bring it up at trial, and you're basically telling the judge it's a non-issue by failing to include it in the pretrial statement. And a lot of people don't realize that. So then they get the judge's decision back and the judge hasn't ruled on a particular issue that maybe the parties were arguing about throughout the case. And the judge says, well, too bad, so sad. It wasn't in your pretrial statement, so I didn't decide it. So first of all, follow the rules about what needs to be included in your pretrial statement. Um, there very well may be a case or a rule that says if you don't omit an issue from that pretrial statement that you're waiving the court deciding that issue. Um, even if that is not a specific rule or if there's not a specific case in your jurisdiction, it's good practice to include each and every issue in dispute in that pretrial statement. But the pretrial statement is a really great guide for me. I use it as a baseline or an outline to help me examine witnesses at trial. That way I can remember to include every issue that's in dispute. If I fail to include a specific issue in that pretrial statement, chances are I'm not gonna cover it with the witness and my client's gonna be out of luck and I'm probably gonna be in trouble with that client. So that's gonna do it for this week's video. Remember, if you like Command the Courtroom, subscribe to the channel on YouTube to get updates when we release new videos. Like us on Facebook, give this video a thumbs up. Keep on trucking and remember to command the courtroom.